Hiya! It's been a while since I've done a sit down makeup video so I'm super excited to be announcing that I am partnering with Glossier for this video. Yes, Glossier. It's kind of a dream come true. I love Glossier products. They've released their new number one pencil in a multitude of different shades. There are 10 shades that are inspired by the archives of art history. So things such as materials, mediums, pigment styles and tools seen across painting, pottery, sculpture and architecture, which I think is so cool. The colors are absolutely stunning. The number one pencil doesn't actually drop until the end of this month, but if you are lucky enough to catch this video in time, Glossier have given me a unique link for you guys to use to be able to shop these pencils until the 20th of June. Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait till the end of the month. The choice is yours. I think I'm gonna create two looks for you guys. One that's more of like a bright daytime look and the other that's more of like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My brain escapes me. Like a more smoldery kind of evening look. So we've got like the dark and then the more fun kind of playful look. I've got them in mind. Let's see if I can put pen to paper and make it actually happen. I just feel like there's so much you could do with these and I just don't have enough video time. Let's just get into the looks because I'm so excited. So I'm gonna use some other products for my base and stuff first, but as we know, Glossier is like a really beautiful, very natural, kind of makeup, very quick, easy, my face but better makeup. So this part's gonna be really quick and then we'll jump into the eyeliner. The Glossier Boy Brow is a tried and true classic. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you'll know that I was obsessed with this for a very long time. And I'm so excited to be using this again. You know, sometimes in the makeup realm, you kind of get distracted by other things, but this happened for a reason. I'm gonna use the shade Black. I used to use the dark brown one, which I have here also, but I have been using more kind of black tones in my brows of late and I feel like I prefer it and it's like a nicer kind of more neutral color for me. Oh my gosh. And this is why we love boy brow. Look at the difference. It's just incredible. It just gives so much like fluff and color and definition to the brows and it really holds them in place as well. I'm not usually one for colored brow gels, but this, this is just something else. Oops, I forgot the first step. <laughs> I went straight for the brows, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna use the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. How pretty is that packaging? It just adds a little bit of extra glow, and I also find that it's like a little bit tacky, so it works quite well as a primer as well. Just apply that all over, and you can also apply it more to like the higher points of your face if you want a bit more glow in those areas. But look at that. Insane, my skin looks like glass. <laughs> Back to my brows, I'm going to go in with the, hmm, which shade do I wanna use now? I've got a bit of a tan, so finding the right concealer shade for me right now is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna go in with the Stretch Concealer in the shade G7, and I'm just gonna take like a flat brush. Please don't look at my brush because it's looking more than crusty. <laughs> it's looking well used, well loved. I do love a fluffy brow, but I also really like to just give my brow a little clean up underneath. I haven't actually used this concealer before and it is really nice. It's really creamy. It feels almost like it's like a bit oily, but like in the best way possible because it's really blendable, but it still gives really good coverage. I'm also gonna take the shade G5. I think it's a bit more close to my skin tone. Just dab over any kind of pigmentation or anything like that, just to even out my skin tone that little bit more. And then I'm gonna take that under my eyes. This literally feels like skincare. And then I'm gonna go back in with G7 under my eyes just to highlight a little bit. I feel like it might be a bit pale. Mm? Yeah, that's nice. Just give it a bit of brightness. And then do a little bit in my forehead, a little bit on my chin, just to highlight these areas a little bit. Okay, so that's it for my face for now. I just like to kind of clean up my brows and my canvas before I do anything with the eyes, just so I kind of have a bit more of a picture of like what I'm working with and then I'll finish off the face afterwards. I don't know why, but this shade is calling my name. It is Muse. That's probably why, I didn't even know that. Um, but I really wanted to do a lilac look, so that's what we're gonna go for today. I think I'm gonna do like a bit of a graphic liner look. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Hey. Just wanna show you what that looks like. How gorgeous is that? Okay, first of all, the pigment is insane and the liner is so creamy. 
which is awesome because it means that it doesn't like tug on my skin it doesn't like break off or feel too dry it literally glides on so easily and so evenly that was so easy now once these eyeliners have set they're actually water resistant crease proof and smudge proof for up to 12 hours for this weather that is exactly what we need this is so beautiful i can't believe how easily this applies and how pigmented the color is especially a lilac on my skin tone a lot of the time it just looks like white but you can fully see that this is lilac i don't know what my boyfriend is watching in the other room but all i can hear is a man groaning and <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys can hear that too. I feel like it's quite buildable as well. Like once it's set, yeah, you can add another layer on top to make it more opaque, which I think is amazing for darker skin tones, especially when you're using lighter eyeliners. This is incredible. See how much more opaque that one is to that one. Damn, I'm so impressed right now. Oh, I wanna do something extra with it. What else can I do? I might just add like another flick here. That's kind of cute. Let's do another layer on this side. See, it really is smudge proof because I feel like usually when you try and layer eyeliner, when you try and apply it the second time, it just kind of moves about the initial application. But this just adds to it. Okay, I'm gonna do the second layer on this. Chef's kiss, baby. Okay, let's finish off the face. I think for this look, I'm just gonna go with some blush and kind of make it a bit cutesy. I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color in the shade Storm. And I'm just gonna take a bit of that on my finger. This is the thing I love about Glossier as well, is you can literally apply everything with your hands. Tap that into like the high points of my cheeks. And I love it because it looks so natural. You can't really go overboard with it and it's really nice and buildable as well. I'm gonna bring that up towards my temples a little bit as well and blend it right back into my hairline so there's no like patchiness. I'm gonna put a little bit across my nose as well just to give that really cute like blushed effect. I feel like it, it's become a trend now. It's like the sunburnt look but it's so cute. Here I am thinking that I've finished the eyes. I haven't. I'm gonna use the Glossier Lash Lick Mascara. I really love this mascara. It proper separates and defines your lashes, but it really lengthens them as well. So pretty. I like the formula because it's quite dry, and I tend to like my mascaras when they get a bit older and the formula's a little bit more dry. I just feel like it works better for me. And I'm actually gonna go in with a second coat of that just to add a bit more drama to the lashes. And I might even put a little bit on the outer bottom lashes. Last but not least, I'm just gonna finish off with a bit of lipstick or tinted lip balm. This is the Glossier Ultra Lip in the shade Vespa. It's like a really nice kind of plum tone, so it kind of ties everything together. That is the first look complete. So quick and easy, but adds such a statement to your look for the day. If you're feeling a bit funky, if you feel like you wanna have a bit of fun with it, then this is definitely a look to go for. And this eyeliner is not gonna budge. It's not going anywhere. And look at the glow. Glossier, I love you. Okay, I just have to say, although the eyeliner is smudge proof, water resistant, etc., that comes off like a dream with a bit of micellate water, which for me is the best. I hate it when an eyeliner is all of those things, which is great, but when it comes to taking it off, it's like going to war on your eyes, so. That is just an extra tick in a box for me. Let's go with look number two. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the Glossier Lid Star in the shade Branch. And I'm just gonna put it in the inner corner of my eye. And then anything that's left over, I'm gonna blend out. And it's got this really beautiful, like iridescent, iridescent? Iridescent look, but it's still super natural. And again, quite buildable. I'm then gonna take, ooh. I'm then gonna take the number one pencil in the shade Frame, which is like a super dark brown. I'm first of all gonna put that right in my inner corner and point it a little bit so you've got that kind of cat eye effect. Again, it's just so creamy and smooth. It glides on like an absolute dream. Like these should have been called the dream liner. And then I'm gonna do just like a regular wing line kind of straight across. And then I'm gonna bring that into my crease and just flick it out a little bit. 
and I'm literally just gonna blend it with my finger before it sets. And I love the versatility of these pencils because you can sharpen it to a point so you get a really precise line. As you guys can see, that line is so thin. And then obviously if you do it quickly enough, it's very blendable because it's quite creamy and then it sets. Like now if I was to rub it, it's not moving. I'm now just gonna take that in my waterline. I may even go in with the black, actually. So I'm gonna take the shade Ink and actually line my waterline with that just to add a bit more depth. Yeah. And I'm gonna go back in with the Lash Lick Mascara just to add the drama back to the eye and really complete the look. Oh, I love this. Honestly, you guys, my lashes are a mess, so please don't look at them and think that it's the mascara that's making them look weird. My hay fever has had me rubbing my eyes like an absolute tyrant to the point where like my eyelashes are breaking off and falling out. So like the outer corners have gone really short. So yeah, don't watch my lashes. And I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom lashes on the outer corner only, just to keep that cat eye look going. This time I'm gonna put a bit of bronzer just to add that kind of more evening look and warm up the face and just add a bit more drama to the face. I've got two shades here. I've got Ray and Heat. I'm going to go in with Heat. I think I'm going to put it on my hand first. I'm going to use my sponge to just press the product into my skin and it just gives you like a really nice natural glow whilst keeping it really um, subtle but it adds like a lot of warmth to the face and a little bit of structure as well which we love. I feel like with the Glossier products as well, you can never really go overboard, which is so good if you're like more of a natural gal. I'm gonna put a little bit on my temples and around my forehead. Do you see what I mean? It just completely blends away. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that lighter concealer, just to clean up the look a little bit because I feel like when you've got a more dramatic eye, you want your skin to be a little bit more perfected. So I'm gonna pat it on instead of rubbing it in, just to get a little bit more coverage. You can see the difference. Guys, I can't believe I'm working with Glossier. Like, this is crazy to me. To finish off the look, I'm just gonna use the Glossier Balm.com Universal, Universal Skin Salve. It's basically just a skin balm. You can use it on your elbows, your brows, your lips, like anywhere that needs some extra nourishment and attention. And I'm just gonna add that on my lips to give it a bit of a gloss and just to nourish them. But yeah, this is my second look. Let me know which one was your favorite look. Remember, I have a link. If you are watching this video on the day that I've released it, you have until the 20th of June to get early access to these liners. Otherwise, you have to wait till the end of the month. If you do get them, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite color is. Send me looks. I want to see what you create with it. I just love how quick and easy they are to use and how, how like workable but sturdy the products are in terms of like longevity. Just amazing. Glossier, you have done it once again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys all in the next one. Until next time. Bye. Mwah.